Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching us, Annie and Zamel, on this Monday afternoon. And our first topic of the day, we're talking about how the IFS applications can help uh, solve mm. the uh, cost know, effectively cost, for yeah, yeah, enterprises. enterprises. So we have, of course, um, the Vice President of IFS Solution Asia Pacific with us, Mr. Sridharan Arumugam, to tell us a little bit about this whole thing. Mm. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. So for the benefit of the viewers, maybe we can start off by introducing uh, and also telling us what IFS application is all about. Yeah, uh, thank you. And uh, I would like to uh, touch slightly about the background of the company. Sure. Yeah. IFS stands for Industrial and Financial System. Mm -hmm. Alright. We are a leading uh, global enterprise software vendor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the company was founded in uh, 1983 in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Today we are operating from 60 different countries. Mm -hmm. And of uh, course uh, there are 2,800 employees. In terms of user base, we are, we'll be touching uh, almost 1 million users in a couple of months. Mm. And that's the target we're looking at. Mm -hmm. In Malaysia, we have started uh, our operation in 1994. Right. And of course, from the beginning, we've been targeting uh, the industries that goes into a capital intensive, mm -hmm. project-based industries. Mm -hmm. Basically, these companies like, you know, oil and gas, mm -hmm. offshore industries mm -hmm. that uh, acquire a lot of, uh, you know, um, combination of project-based, right. mm -hmm. how they uh, approach the business with project-based industries. Mm -hmm. like that's where we bring uh, value to these companies. Okay. So that's uh, a brief background of the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about, uh, you know, the title itself says to help in terms of uh, cost management and cost effectively, how does IFS do this? Could you just, you know, give us a quick highlight? Uh, you're talking about oil and gas companies, for mm -hmm. instance. Uh, we can see this from uh, different perspectives. One one is, of course, uh, from a uh, solution perspective. Mm -hmm. What we call uh, IFS helps companies manage four core processes, mm -hmm. uh, namely asset and uh, service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Project, uh, manufacturing, mm -hmm. and supply chain management. Mm. And this is done uh, through our, what you call it, a long experience and right. exposure to the industries like oil and gas and offshore industry. Mm -hmm. Together with our horizontal solution like financials, human resource management, document management, and customer relationship management, right. we could offer, we are offering actually a complete sort of uh, enterprise solution to the company. I see. Yes, so what makes uh, IFS application actually, you know, you, it's unique uh, and also different from any other applications that's available mm -hmm. out there? Yeah, uh, one is from solution perspective, of course, I would like to touch base on this. Technology perspective as well. Okay. okay. IFS is actually, I can claim that, uh, you know, IFS is the pioneer in terms of uh, uh, component-based architecture. Okay. Right. What is component-based architecture? Component-based architecture means the solution built into uh, based on the pieces. We put together pieces mm -hmm. uh, like Lego said. Right. You know, uh, for for a certain industry like oil and gas, mm. we put together many components or modules, business components, mm -hmm. to give a unique solution for the particular industry. Mm -hmm. And that gives uh, flexibility and agility to the business. Mm -hmm. Companies when they grow, mm -hmm. uh, let's say when they are small, they can pick and choose certain components only. That gives a good control of their investment, mm -hmm. good control of the implementation and so on. And when as they grow, they can add in more components like Lego set, you can put in more yeah. things mm. and that gives you a good control of the whole uh, perspective how you're going to implement the system, right. the benefit that you get from the system. Yep. Mm. So you mentioned earlier that uh, 1 million uh, mm. users, is that globally or just in Malaysia? Globally, oh. 1 million users. Right. Yeah. Of course, uh, the user base in Malaysia is uh, growing in the mm -hmm. region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our primary focus for Malaysia is actually uh, oil and gas industries. Okay. Yeah. And would you literally be trying, say, other industries uh, this, at the rate that you're going, which yeah. you say, you know, yeah. with 1 million people yeah. coming in, yes, uh, it's applicable yeah. to other industries. Yes, it, it goes uh, across the boundary. Across the board, across yeah. Board, and uh, manufacturing is one of the sectors that we focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aviation and defense. Mm -hmm. uh, other other asset intensive industries like uh, construction and contracting business, mm -hmm. right. uh, railway, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. And custom service as well, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, all these business requires some kind of customer right. relationship mm -hmm. management. Mm. Yeah. So, so um, the IFS application uh, is, is a solution to reduce the operational cost, mm. right? Uh, what is the estimated percentage, would you say, if you manage to, how, in, yeah. how, percentage? how much a percentage would you yeah. be reducing? Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, let, let's take a scenario for an oil and gas company. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'll, before answering that question, I would like to touch base on the type of uh, benefits customers can uh, uh, enjoy uh, mm -hmm. implementing the system like right. IFS okay. applications. Eh? Right. There are many, uh, I mean, most of our customers experience 
many tangible and intangible benefits. Mm -hmm. And of course, it varies from uh, company to company, mm -hmm. industry to industry, yeah, the cost uh, sure. reduction. So if you look at tangible and intangible benefits, we are looking at uh, streamlining uh, your operations, mm -hmm. processes. Mm -hmm. so you will have a good control of your operations, mm -hmm. processes. Right? Without that, you cannot move sure. forward. No? You will not have any control. Then it, it of course, uh, uh, leads to a, a cost, not you know, uh, uh, wastage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Secondly, increase in productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, it, when you talk about increase in productivity, that will indirectly uh, encourage revenue growth. Uh, mm -hmm. And other than that, uh, a system gives you a good control of your inventory, good control of your project, mm -hmm. especially if, uh, oil and gas companies, uh, yeah. uh, project, good control of your assets, and of course overall resources. And all these things will, uh, uh, the factors will lead to cost reduction. Uh. Mm -hmm. In terms of cost reduction, as I mentioned, it, th the percentage itself varies from one country company to another company, right. one industry to another industry. Okay. Some mm -hmm. of our customers experience 30% in a, a reduction in the inventory holding cost. Oh, uh, so very good numbers, and this we can see in other industries as well. 30%. Yes. Well, okay. we'd want to talk to you more, so we're not letting you go yet. <laughs> so we just have to stay with us. We have a quick breaker coming in yep, okay, uh, with uh, Inside Japan. That's right. Uh, Pay promo. So let's take a look at what uh, Inside Japan has in store for you. We hope you enjoyed that segment and we're now back to our topic talking about how the IFS uh, applications can help uh, the enterprises uh, manage, you know, manage their costs mm. effectively. That's right. uh, and here with us is also, you know, our guest, uh, Mr. Sridharan uh, Arumugam, who is the Vice President of the IFS Solution uh, Asia Pacific. And uh, yes, back to our uh, interview just now, uh, talking about, you know, how the IFS application actually has been helping mm. this particular... Uh, In terms of or I guess company, right? Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, mobility? You know, it's actually, mobility is actually an important role in the business world today. So, uh, why is it crucial to adapt enterprise mm -hmm. mobility solutions within these enterprises itself? That's a very good question related to mobility. Mm -hmm. Now we are in the era of uh, mobi uh, what do you call it, uh, mobile business, business Absolutely. mobility, mm. right? Uh, we see uh, more and more companies uh, incorporating their uh, mobile mobility into their business framework. Mm -hmm. If they don't do that, you know, they will lose out to competition. Mobility creates productivity mm -hmm. yeah. because it's just indirectly giving you a additional uh, revenue. Mm -hmm. So that's the key thing. Yeah? If you don't, you know, adopt mobility, you may mm -hmm. lose out in terms of uh, creativity or, or productivity. Lose uh, lower productivity, and your competition, uh, whoever you know that uh, use mobile mobility as the key mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. future growth they will be going ahead of you and, and so on in competition. Mm -hmm. so and of course, with mobility, mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about capacity creation uh, uh, without adding uh, peak uh, investment and so on. Right. Uh, a good example is uh, cloud computing. Ah. In, in terms of cloud computing, you don't need to invest. Companies don't require to invest a lot in terms mm -hmm. of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. They just use uh, the uh, cloud as a platform for them to increase their capacity. Right. Yes, so right. these are two key things uh, if you talk about mobility. Mm -hmm. Because on top of that, if you look at uh, you and me, uh, uh, ordinary people, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, or staff in a company, yeah. for them to, uh, it will also encourage for them to involve in the process, right. process processes. Right. Because they get to use the tools that they, I mean, mm -hmm. nowadays we use uh, tablets yeah. and uh, smartphone and so on. Mm -hmm. So we could use these devices to get into the business application, right. get the right information at the right time, mm -hmm. so that they can make certain decisions and uh, that automatically, you know, improve productivity. Okay. Right. So when we talk about mobility, uh, you're talking about virtuality as well. So how does I IFS then uh, sort of meet the demand of the market when you talk about, you know, being versatile and of course for the mobile users? IFS approach to mobility, you know, we have been uh, investing heavily into mm -hmm. mobile, uh, creating a mobile solution for users. Right. Yeah. For users. We have been working for more than uh, uh, 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, investing heavily. And uh, with our mobile solution, we address two types of users. Right. One is casual user, another one is heavy user. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of casual user? Casual user is just uh, a, a majority of uh, people in the company right. who uses the system for a certain task, let's say approving purchase order, mm -hmm. approving invoices. Mm -hmm. And these people are, you know, uh, they don't need to have a full access to the system, right. but they need to have a access to the system to perform their task. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, for, my, for example, I, I, I've been, uh, I'm managing uh, IFS operation in the region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a Bangkok office, Singapore mm -hmm. office, and uh, Malaysia office. Mm -hmm. So whenever I travel, mm -hmm. and uh, 
let's say from my bank of office they require uh, approval or purchase acquisition right mm. and uh, if they you know if they are waiting for my approval right yep. if i need to get into get to my workspace and uh, look at the email and then go through the whole thing yeah do take uh, tomorrow morning because That's after some flight <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so with mobile solution mm -hmm. I, i carry my ipad mm -hmm. with me yeah. and it gives me instant access it shows me uh, The business happening, eh? right? Yeah, he's also so showing off his new mini. I just yeah, that mini there. <laughs> okay, so here, I, 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 I can see the the request uh, uh, for approval. Okay, and okay. Uh, within within a second, I can just approve yep. it and go. Can ah. you show it to the screen? Yep. Ah, there, ah, there, you, there go. you go. Okay. Can can the screen okay, just so the, grab that? So there you go. Can you say more on this? Uh, you know. So you have cu top customer. Okay, this is basically what the whole sales yeah, companionship right, yeah. is yes. on about. Yeah, so CRM, customer right. relation management. Right. I know exactly uh, a particular customer, how they are moving, and mm -hmm. what type of demand mm -hmm. they have, and, and it's uh, updated, updated on real time, on real time. Wow. Yeah, it keeps moving. Yeah, yeah that's it, right. it's updating. Right. It's connected. So Fantastic. that's very important. Gives it, it puts you ahead of your competition. Just imagine if I don't have this information, mm -hmm. and I'm meeting you as my customer. Right. Uh, I would not know your background. Your yeah, need, your yeah. demand. So I cannot do this sales pitch. Uh, so right. With this, I know exactly what you require. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, this shows a uh, complaint as well. You know, mm -hmm. you need to look up to you. Yeah, you so uh, and, and, and you you know where to concentrate, isn't it? Right. Whether it's the sales that you need to yeah. concentrate on in terms of cost efficiency, okay. whether it's the customer service that you need to get into, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Mm. So that's that's a key okay. point of more. Wow. Okay, Mr. Shrin, where can we get more information about the ISS application? Is there a website we can go mm -hmm. to or an office? Or maybe you yeah. know enterprises out there they yeah. can refer mm -hmm. to yes uh, we we have a, a, a website www.ifsworld.com mm -hmm. that's where uh, that's our general website uh, there you go locally uh, we have ifsworld.com uh, yep. yes ifsworld.com that's the fun place that's right <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the uh, office uh, where are you located where are you based at in KL in PJ Jaya 1 okay. all right yeah please all right no, so can time. can the enterprises that are watching us right now can they just uh, call you in or come in and meet up with you or how does that work yes of course uh, they can uh, Uh, access our website uh -huh. to get more information, mm -hmm. right. and they'll, there they will find our contact information, even local local office, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they can contact us through that, and we will be able to help them with the uh, mm -hmm. mobility mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. IFSworld.com, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sridharan. Thank, thank you so much for coming to the studio.